So when I went in, I was free. I don't know, and just being like incarcerated for years, freedom was always on my mind. Cause I wanna be free, everybody wants to be free, you know, especially as a teenager. Nobody wants to be incarcerated. I mean, we all make mistakes for sure. But yeah, nobody wants to be incarcerated. Sucks. I wanna be free, so freedom was just like always a big thing. Can You See Me is an exhibition, it's a proposal, it's a dialogue by incarcerated youth and contemporary artists bringing together work, projects, paintings, media across three spaces, Weinberg Newton Gallery, Arts and Public Life, and Sky Art. The three of us partnered up to bring this exhibition to audiences who may not have exposure to the justice system, but also to create new access to our communities that we work with uh, to contemporary art spaces. There's kind of two main proposals that we're working with. The first proposal is that these youth are kids and they're not criminals. And we know that these young black and brown folks are never given the innocence that all children deserve. And so one of the things that we're trying to do in this exhibition is rescue some of that innocence. And so that's why this show, instead of being illustrative and literal and explorative, specifically of the trauma of these institutions, while those themes are present, it's a very aspirational exhibition. And so we're exploring freedom and innocence and play in a way that relates to juvenile justice, but is really thinking about a future uh, where youth are not incarcerated. The second proposal of Can You See Me is really that the work by these incarcerated young people is just as valuable and just as important uh, and just as meaningful as the work by contemporary artists. We're elevating them as contemporary artists in their own right uh, and creating a dialogue between them. And I think, you know, when you look at Ebony Patterson's amazing multimedia work next to some of these works by the Sky Arts Just Us participants, there is a conversation happening there. I would say to the average person, there are so many people in inner cities that are voiceless, that are invisible. This out of sight, out of mind mentality is not helping us as a society. Us as humans, we work together, right? And somehow as time has gone by and we've gotten more siloed, we're just not acknowledging the silos in our lives that really need our help. I think that this collaboration with Weinberg Newton, it's creating a platform where people can see the stuff they don't want to see. It allows them to see humanity. We're calling it a love letter to Sky Arts youth in our community. And it's really personal uh, for some of our staff who've been directly impacted by incarceration, uh, having incarcerated family members, and, and they're reflecting on that and reflecting on the over-incarceration of our communities. Uh, and so it's really personal and, and, and aspirational again, and we're looking towards the future in that exhibition and imagining what our communities can look like without mass incarceration. Mm -hmm.